In this video, I will illustrate with an example how to find the asymptotes of a rational function given its equation. Let's look at the function f, defined by f of x equals x cubed plus 1 over x cubed minus 2x squared. I want to find all of its asymptotes. It has a few. And then, with only this information, I will try to sketch its graph. I invite you to pause the video and attempt this problem. After that, continue watching. First, I will look for vertical asymptotes. To have a vertical asymptote, I need the limit at some point to be plus or minus infinity. And it is enough to have just one of the two side limits on the right or the left to be plus or minus infinity. In this case, the function is rational, a quotient of polynomials. So it is well defined and continues everywhere on the reals, except when the denominator is zero. Those are the only points where I may have a vertical asymptote. It will help to factor the denominator. And I see now that there are two values where the denominator vanishes, at zero and at two. So let's examine them separately. First, I'm going to compute the limits as x approaches zero. And I will compute the limit on the right and on the left in case they have different values. I want to see whether these limits are plus or minus infinity. So the sign of the rest of the terms is going to matter. As x approaches 0, this numerator is going to 1, and this denominator is going to minus 2, so it stays negative. x squared is the part that vanishes at 0, but near 0, it will remain positive, both when x is greater than 0 and when x is smaller than 0. So in this case, the full function, when x is close to 0, is going to be negative both to the right and to the left. So both side limits are going to be minus infinity. So there it is, I found the first vertical asymptote. It is the axis, the y-axis, x equals zero. But also I have a bit more information. Since I know the two side limits are minus infinity, I expect the graph of the function to look something like this near zero. I have these traces of the graph. Next, let's calculate the two side limits at 2. Now, as x is approaches 2, the numerator is approaching 9, stays positive, and x squared is approaching 4, stays positive. But this piece behaves differently on both sides. When x is greater than 2, this is going to be positive, and when x is smaller than 2, this is going to be negative. So the full function is positive when x is close to 2 on the right, so the limit is infinity. And the full function is negative when x is close to 2 on the left, so the limit is minus infinity. So I have found two vertical asymptotes, x equals 0 and x equals 2. And let's see what the second one means for the graph. I draw the second asymptote, the line x equals 2. As x approaches 2 on the right, the limit is infinity, so I expect the graph to look something like this. And as x approaches 2 on the left, the limit is minus infinity, so I expect something like this. Great, I have these traces of the graph. Next, let's look for horizontal asymptotes. To have a horizontal asymptote, I need the limit as x approaches either plus or minus infinity of the function to exist and be a number. I'll begin with infinity. Let's compute the limit of this function as x approaches infinity. And perhaps you already know what the answer is. It's a quotient of polynomials, so only the leading terms matter. Or perhaps you would like to use L'Hopital three times. Or alternatively, we can't factor out the biggest term in both the numerator and denominator. And once it's this way, I see I can cancel the x cube and I am left with an easy limit, because as x approaches infinity, this piece goes to zero, this piece goes to zero, and I am left with one. That's it. I found a horizontal asymptote, the line y equals one, and it is an asymptote as x approaches infinity. Next, we should look at what happens when x approaches minus infinity. But in this case, we got lucky, because the two limits are exactly the same. This works exactly the same way, 
as x approaches minus infinity. So this line is the horizontal asymptote as x approaches infinity and as x approaches minus infinity. This doesn't always happen, but in this case, it does. Great, so I found all three asymptotes. Let's go back to the graph. I can put the line y equals 1 here. And in this case, I know this is an asymptote on both sides, but I don't know exactly what the graph looks like near it. Perhaps it approaches from above or from below, or perhaps it even crosses. So those traces are everything I have. This is not enough information to sketch the graph. If I had to guess, the simplest one I can think of will probably look something like this, and then like this, and then like this. But I cannot be certain that is right. If I wanted to know what the graph actually looks like, I should at least compute the first derivative to see when it's increasing and decreasing, and look at the intercept points with the axis. But whatever it looks like, it needs to have these asymptotes.